No, I mean, it's a good question. And it's actually one I've been asking myself recently. It wasn't something I was consciously aware of doing at the time. I'm not sure what the answer is. Um, I think partly I had to detach myself from it. Um, you know, I've asked myself recently, is, is, you know, was, is, has this been some sort of therapy in a way? Because it was pretty traumatic the day. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, th I think in a way it's, it's probably allowed me, as I say, to detach myself from it. And, and I was getting on with the job. Um, so um, it really stripped the emotion out of it in a way, you know. But when I first heard the 999 call, um, it'd been a long time since we'd requested it. There's a whole process to go through for obvious reasons. A runner turned up with a CD and then I, I, I wasn't well, sure what it was at first. Then I realised what it was. I got uh, my editor, Gregor, to, to load it up and asked him to just step out and let me, I want to hear it for the first time on my own. That was difficult. Um, and that threw me a bit and I just, you know, went for a little walk after that. Um, and then after that, it's, you know, it's, it's heads down and home with the job, really. No, I, it's the only time in my life I've ever called him Alexander. And the only reason I can think is, despite the fact he, and this sounds bizarre, um, but despite the fact he, he needed an ambulance, mm -hmm. um, there was still a little part of me, obviously, that was subconsciously thinking, I, do, I don't want this to become public. If he's okay and there's nothing wrong here, I don't, I don't want this to become public. Um, that's the only reason I can think that I used it, Alexander, because as I say, I've never used it on any other occasion. We went up to Macclesfield Hospital, first of all, and that was when it was identified that he had had a brain hemorrhage. And I remember going out and speaking to the doctor. she just come in and told us, look, you've had a bleed on the brain. We're going to have to get you up to Salford, uh, Salford Royal for an operation. And I remember stepping outside the room and, and saying to her, how bad is this? And, and she looked at me almost as if I was like an idiot and just was like, it, it, it's bad, you know. This is this, this is a this is a pretty serious situation. Then I walked back in, and there was two guys looking at the scan image, and I went over and said, "Look, that's my dad." And and what's what's his, what's the story? And same question, really. And they're like, "Look, it's not good." What they couldn't understand was relating the image that they were looking at on the screen of this massive bleed, and the fact that behind the curtain in a little bay, he was sitting up talking to a nurse. They, they couldn't understand that he was sitting up talking. He obviously remembers none of this. But um, yeah, going up to Salford, getting pulled by the doctors, getting told, you know, um, yeah, just get yourself ready here, you know. Yeah, it was, it was very much something I wanted to do. Um, you know, it was, you know, my core objective was to make a film that wasn't about football. Um, but you know, to to basically uh, make a film that, that 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 captured the man, you know, not the public perception of who he is, you know. Um, at the end of the day, I think like all football managers, when they're when they're working, they have a bit of a mask on, you know, that are aware cameras are on them. They're working as well at the end of the day, and and generally, and I'm guilty of it. Everyone is. You you formulate an opinion on someone, which is ultimately based upon their behaviour during the match when there's a lot of adrenaline um, and a post-match interview two minutes after uh, uh, an event that has an impact on their professional life, you know. But, I, you know, again, going back to that initial concern about objectivity, and I, I felt that our relationship and my closeness could allow, would allow him to be comfortable coming out as, as, as the man he is, which, which, I, which he did.